Preeti Zinta has reached and landed. In fact, this is a week after she filed a complaint against former boyfriend, industrialist Neswadia. She was in the U.S. till now. We're getting you these exclusive images from inside the airport. Uh, she did land a short while ago, avoiding the media, deciding to exit uh, from the departure gate is what our correspondents are telling us. She's expected to record her statement before the police soon. Remember, uh, she has accused Neswadia of abusing and threatening her during an IPL match uh, that was played at Wankade Stadium on the 30th of May. The police have so far recorded statements of eight people in connection with this case. And bringing us those exclusive images and tracking this closely, Shavan Sen joining us now from Mumbai Airport. Uh, Shavan, perhaps understandably, Preeti, looking to avoid the media glare there. Uh, it does uh, look like the police will be recording her statement either today or tomorrow. That's right, Amrita. Uh, what we were told that uh, actor Preeti Zinta did exit from the departure gate. Unusual, that was because of the entire media was at the arrival gate. As far as her statement is concerned, uh, Amrita, what we were told by our sources in the Mumbai police is that they're expecting her to st record the statement either today or tomorrow. But uh, sources close to Preeti Zinta are now suggesting that there's a high possibility that she would only be recording her statement by tomorrow. But However, having said that, there is no official confirmation on when exactly she would be recording her statement. Amrita, this is extremely important. The statement of Preeti Zinta is extremely crucial for this investigation to proceed. Remember, so far only eight statements have been uh, recorded, but Mumbai police is not being able to take this case forward only because there are certain specific questions, answers to which they require at this point in time. For instance, where exactly this alleged uh, argument uh, did take place, because remember, according to Preeti Zinta, this did take place in Garwade Pavilion, but that's a big stand, so that's the reason why certain specific questions uh, that will be asked uh, to Preeti Zinta and expected that Preeti Zinta's statement also would be uh, recorded before a magistrate. All right, so recorded before a magistrate, uh, possibly going to be tomorrow. Shavan, as you continue to uh, get those, uh, those uh, details really from your sources, just take us to this case itself because, Shavan, we're seeing so many different reports. Uh, the case uh, uh, that she has accused, what has she accused her uh, uh, ex-boyfriend, industrialist Neswadia, of exactly? Uh, and in terms of the eight statements that have already been recorded, are there any discrepancies so far? Amrita, Preeti Zinta did record, uh, did uh, submit her complaint on 12th of June, just before she left for the US, accusing her former uh, boyfriend as well as a co team co-partner, Ness Wadia, of alleging, uh, of uh, 354, under section 354 is what uh, Ness Wadia has been booked. As of now, remember, what Mumbai police has been able to do is examine the entire footage of that particular area. Remember, CCTV footage of almost nine hours were examined by Mumbai police, but what we are being told by uh, sources in Mumbai by police is that that particular alleged argument hasn't been captured in the CCTV footage. That's the reason why we have seen that Mumbai police hasn't been able to take this case forward. Secondly, what Mumbai police is now depending on is certainly the eyewitness statement. So far, eight statements have been recorded, which basically includes mostly BCCI officials who did say, certainly talk about that particular argument. And more importantly, the most important statement was that of the IPL CEO Sundar Raman, who finds a mention in that particular complaint letter of Preeti Zinta where, uh, according to Preeti Zinta, IPL CEO did play an important role in pacifying both of them during the Bangalore auction. And also, IPL CEO Sundaraman actually telling in that particular statement that uh, Preeti did come forward and speak about that verbal abuse uh, to IPL CEO Sundaraman. And that has, that, that has also been recorded in that particular statement. Apart from that, we've also seen IPL Chairman Ranjit Biswal's statement also being recorded by the Mumbai police. But for this entire case to actually proceed, what becomes very, very important at this point in time is to do the a spot punch nama of that particular area. Remember, that is only possible once Preeti actually goes ahead and records a statement where we would be expecting Preeti Zinta being taken by the Mumbai police to that very place where this argument actually took place because there were a lot of speculations about where was this argument and, and according to Preeti Zinta, this, all this happened in public view. Mm. So the question that the Mumbai police does want to know is that who are the people who were present when this particular incident actually unfolded? All right, Shavan, we leave it there for the moment, but continue to track these developments with you. Thanks so much for that perspective uh, and that big news coming in. Uh, Preeti Zinta is likely to record her statement at some point tomorrow.